Early morning, semi-detached Highgate, London. Industrial consultant Rex Malik feels the business world's pulse from his bedside. Stock prices and market trends are available to him through Europe's first home computer terminal. This terminal is linked to a giant brain 10 miles away in the heart of London. It's one of two Malik has installed for experimental purposes because he wants to know if they can run his life and his home for him. They're simple to operate and experts predict that in 20 years time all new houses will be built with special computer points and the terminals will be cheaper to rent than today's telephones. There's no complicated language to master before he can understand what the computer's saying. The unseen brain sends its messages in good old-fashioned English. Every day the computer sends Rex Malik a daily reminder of where he should be, for he's stored his day-to-day -day diary with the brain. The computer can handle a year's shopping list for the home, final demands, and the exact state of Malik's bank balance. could become a sort of robot housekeeper crossed with a private secretary. But so far, the Malik family isn't quite sure exactly how best to use it. But there's one member of the household who has no doubt of the advantages a computer in the home offers. He's Nicholas Malik, aged four. Every afternoon, he spends time on the terminal. Mr. Malik says that it's helped Nicholas to read and count. Within three days of starting, Nicholas was able to send simple requests to the computer and read the answers as they came back. P, now where's the E? You had it just now. That's him. Okay, now put in four. Okay, now type me in a four again. Give me a four. Four. Push that down. Push the plus. Okay, type me in four more. That's him. That one? Yep, push that one. Let's see if you've done it right. Press my return button. That one? No, that button. You know the return that button. One? Yes. It's an expensive way to do sums, at least 30 pounds per week a terminal. But Rex Malik sees a future world where children could be virtually educated by computer, where every home will have its own terminal plugged into a central brain. And from the brain will come not only school lessons. He sees his son growing up in a world where eventually his very thoughts could be stored and perhaps assessed for his future use. No, no. Now you know where the P is on that keyboard. Come down, come down a bit. 